Hey, it's Ben, and in this video, we're going to be going over how to fix spam like the calls inside of high level. So what is spam like the and why does it happen? So you've probably seen it before. You make a call and instead of your business name showing up on the other end, it says spam likely. It's not just annoying. It's a conversation killer. Areas use algorithms and call behavior data to decide which number seems suspicious. And if you're using a new number or dialing high volumes or you're not registered properly, your calls can get flagged, even if you are a legitimate business. It doesn't mean that you're doing something wrong. It just means that the carriers don't trust you yet. How does call ID reputation? actually work and why do so many people get it wrong well one of the biggest misconceptions is that people think that you have to verify it once and then you're done but unfortunately that's not the case a caller id reputation is shaped by multiple systems like cnam which lets your name display on outbound calls and shaken and stir which helps carriers confirm that you're not spoofy numbers carriers can still just show your number or ignore your name entirely especially on mobile phones this inconsistency is what confuses most people it's not broken it's just how the system works setup helps but behavior matters too now we can move on to how to set up very verified call ID inside of high level. Aaron Darkan explains it simply. He mentions that people think that they're buying a number inside of high level and then verifying that number to stop the spam like the flag from coming up. But that's not the case. What you're actually doing with call ID is taking your client's number and attaching it to your high level account so that when you make a call from the high level account, it masks that high level number with your client's number so that the person receiving the call sees a recognizable and trusted line. This is especially useful for agencies who want to make it look like the client is actually calling their customer. Even though it's going through automation and yes you should do this after your a2p 10 dlc registration if you're using this number for texting too so hopping into the system now if you come down to settings in the bottom left come up to phone numbers and you'll see your phone numbers over here so like i mentioned you want to take your client's number and then verify the caller id in the platform so you're going to come up to this blue button in the top right click on add number come to add verified caller id once you click that you want to add your client's number not the high level number but your client's number over here i'm going to type a random number and then click on verify number you'll see a code pops up over here now and what will happen is your client will then receive a phone call on his cell phone that then asks him for this code so you want to do this maybe live when you're onboarding the client so that they are on the call with you and then you can tell them that they need to pick up the phone while you're generating the code just to make the whole process a bit smoother and a big question i see people asking is will callbacks then come to high level so let's say we've rang a client now and they didn't pick up but then later on they call back on that same number is that then going to be picked up in high level unfortunately not when they call that number it will go straight to your client's phone so make sure your client knows what to expect before or they pick up the phone and say hey who is this who their customer and then there's just an awkward interaction that happens there so once your number is verified and you're making call the next step is to register your business in the cname database and you can do this via the go high level trust center this lets carriers potentially show your business name when calls go through and it adds credibility to your number this step only applies to us based 10 dlc numbers so if you're calling internationally or using international numbers cname won't be applicable and you'll need to complete your a2p 10 dlc registration first before accessing the trust center and submitting your cname registration I'll leave a link to the latest A2P 10 DLC registration information that you can follow to get your numbers approved. So what you're going to do is come back to your system and again go to settings and then phone numbers and then you want to come up to trust center. Once you're in here you can come down to CNAM voice and if your number is unverified then you'll see a blue button over here. I'll show an example of what it looks like in a different account. So you can see this test account we have start registration. Once you click on the blue button you'll see you need to fill out your business information so that being your legal business name, your business registration ID type and then the registration number and a couple other legal information then at the bottom you can click on continue and it'll take you to the business address where again you're just going to check here make sure all information is correct and legal click on continue same with the authorized representative and just so you know the phone number over here this is the phone number of the representative so in this case it would be myself and it mentions here that you must not use this phone number for more than five brands once you're happy click on continue and then you're going to write your cname display name so this is the name that will appear on the customer's phone and then you want to click on the checkbox over here and then click on submit now keep in mind cname updates can take up to 72 hours or more to propagate and some carriers especially mobile don't always show cname data or they only show it to a selected amount of users so if your business name is not shown after you've done this registration it does not mean it failed that's just the quirks of how the carriers handle it one of the most frustrating thing for people is doing absolutely everything right like verifying the number registering the cname and still seeing spam likely or just the number showing up that's because not all phone carriers treat caller id the same mobile carriers in particular like at&t and verizon often skip CNAME entirely and use their own internal databases or third-party systems. Some of these systems are like Hire or First Orion. It's not your fault, it's just how the US telecom system works. Also, even though CNAME and Shakenister are US-based protocols, your number can still be affected by international dialing tools if you're operating outside of the US. So it's best to stick with verified US 10 DLC registered numbers when running American campaigns. Okay, so how do we now register for Core Trust? Shakenister is another major step in protecting your number's reputation. 
It's a free system that authenticates your number to carriers so that they know that you're a real business and you're not a spoof call. Think of it like getting a verified badge for voice calls. And fun fact, the name Shaken and Stir was inspired by the James Bond character who famously prefers his martinis shaken and not stirred. Vodka martini, shaken, not stirred. Stir having existed already, the creators of Shaken, and I quote, tortured the English language until they came up with the acronym. Inside of Hilo, you can register the number directly inside of the platform, but again, this is only for US-based 10 DLC numbers. And just like CNAME, you would have to have your A2P 10 DLC registered before Shaken and Stir becomes available. So again, in settings and then in phone numbers, if you come up to Shaken Stir Voice, this is where you're able to start the registration. So you click on the blue button over here, where again, you'll fill in the information and then go through all of them, checking that your information is correct. And then once you on the final step make sure you click on the checkbox you add your shake and stir friendly name and then click on submit once submitted it may take a couple days to become activated but the great part is all your current and future phone numbers will automatically be linked to your shake and stir profile so there's no need to redo it every single time now if you're an agency or a high volume caller here are some advanced tools that go beyond the basics so if you've done all the steps inside of high level and you still want better branding then consider external tools like first orion or higher these calls give you direct access to branded call id including the business name, the logo, and sometimes even the core reason, even on mobile phones. These are ideal for agencies doing cold outreach or appointment setters or any business that has high call volume. Not required, but they do help massively if you are holding thousands of leads and you want to stand out. Please note that these tools run independently, so you register your business and number once, then they work behind the scenes to help improve the display on the phone carrier side. Also note, they may not always allow you on the platform if you're not big enough. Sometimes even with that setup, it may still show as spam likely. So if you've done everything right, like verifying your phone number, and just at CNAM, completed shake and stir, and you're still having problems with spam like the labels, then it may be time to take things a step further. This is where SIP client comes in. A SIP client, which stands for Session Initiation Protocol, lets you make calls over the internet through a VoIP provider instead of routing everything through traditional telecom providers. In simple terms, it gives you more control on how your calls are being delivered and more importantly, how your call ID appears. So with SIP client, you can customize your CNAM settings through VoIP provider, bypass some of the stricter mobile carrier spam filters, root calls using platforms like Asterix, 3CX, or cloud-based PBX systems, and integrate seamlessly with business phones and desktop soft phones. And yes, SIP can still work alongside your CNAME, Shaken, and Stir setup. In fact, stacking all three creates one of the most reliable and trusted voice setups possibly today. So how do you actually set up SIP clients? You'll need two things, an SIP compatible soft phone app like Zoeva or Bria, and SIP credentials from your VoIP provider. It's usually Twilio if you're using high level. So inside of Twilio, create a SIP domain, generate a username and password, and then plug those into your soft phone app. Once connected, you can make and receive calls from your verified number with better routing and call ID control. If that sounds a bit technical, it is, but it's a one-time setup and once done, your calls are cleaner, faster, and far more trusted. So getting your phone number approved is one step. Keeping it trusted is where most people drop the ball. So avoid switching numbers frequently unless absolutely necessary. And if you're targeting specific cities, then don't overload a number right away. Slowly ramp up your emails to build trust. And then you always want to test. So call your number from a bunch of different phones and see how it shows up. This helps you stay productive and catch issues before your leads do. There is also a service which I haven't personally tried myself yet called spamlikely.io and they help you stay ahead of spam flags before your number gets blocked or flagged. Even if you've done all of those steps, your number might still show up as spam likely. Why? Because major US carriers rely on analytics partners and flag spam based on their own databases. And because of that, that's where FCR, which is Free Caller Registry, comes in. FCR is a centralized form that feeds your number and business information directly into those carrier ecosystems. It's one of the fastest ways to clean up your reputation across the top US carriers. And the best part is it's 100% free. So you can just go over to freecallerregistry.com, click on register here, then just enter your phone number, your VoIP provider, and business details, then submit your form and wait. It typically takes around four days. And if you have done every single one of those things and your number is still getting flagged as spam likely every single time, then the last option is to get a new number. So that's how you fix spam likely inside of high level. If you want to see a video on A2P 10 DLC registration and the latest information around that click on this video and thank you for watching